Hey, good morning, you guys. It's Callie. I'm back with the next installment in our Kanmari series of purging. And today's topic is household supplies. And she includes medicines, detergents, and tissues like paper products and things like that. Well, we've done our medicines when we did the first aid supplies in the bathroom. So I'm just going to do like cleaning detergents and paper products. So I'll see you back here. I have some in the bathroom, some in the kitchen, and some in my supply closet. So I'll gather everything and I'll see you back here in a minute. I thought I'd just do a before shot. We're in the bathroom and this is the cabinet underneath my sink. And I do keep a few cleaning supplies here. Here's that tier that we kept the nail care and hair care stuff in. And then I just have this small basket. There's some Windex and soft scrub and a sponge and a squeegee. A roll of paper towels there. And then I'll show you what I have in the kitchen. Okay, so back in the kitchen, the only other place that I have any cleaning supplies, detergent or anything like that, is here under my sink. I have one cabinet here. And it's pretty neat under here. I told you I'm pretty organized by nature but I'm sure there are a lot of like sponges and rags and things that I can go through and get rid of uh, right now I see some rug shampoo machine detergent that I don't have a rug shampoo or machine so and then this big home home depot bucket that I use um, when I wash my floor and a fire extinguisher of course so I'm gonna pull all this stuff out and I'm also going to grab my paper towels, tissues, etc., toilet paper, put it all together. Any of my laundry detergent is over at the cave at Tom's because we do the laundry from over there. So I don't have any uh, laundry detergent. And just so you guys know, again, I've been vegan since November. When I'm As I'm using up cleaning products, I am replacing them with either homemade, like white vinegar, baking soda kinds of things, or Dr. Bronner's soap. Uh, I will not be repurchasing any um, non-cruelty-free cleaning products and non-toxic cleaning project products. Same thing with like air fresheners and things like that. No more. So I'm going to use up what I have and then I won't be replacing those types of things. See you in a minute. Okay, I grabbed everything out of the bathroom and everything is out of the kitchen cabinet with the exception of my pure wa water filter replacements two spray misters I use for my plants and the fire extinguisher and my bucket. So otherwise it's empty and I'll be cleaning that out. And this is what we're dealing with folks. So I have some suede cleaner, silver polish, Comet, Clorox, a couple of air fresheners, some liquid gold, dish detergent, Murphy's oil soap. Love this stuff. Mr. Clean. Some saddle soap, some more toxic clean cleaners, <laughs> uh, some Windex, which I already know um, I can make a good window cleaner out of vinegar and water. This upholstery cleaner is going to go, and some of this. So again, I'll probably be keeping all of these for now, but as I use them up, I won't be replacing them with anything except natural products. Here are some sponges and scrubbies. Um, there's that squeegee from the bathroom. And then I have a bag of rags. For those of you who watched my linen purge last night, I do have some kitchen rags. I'll be going through them. Um, as well as this is a microfiber cloth in there. Box of tissues, a bag of napkins, four rolls of toilet paper, and I keep um, it's time to change these anyways, but these are just obviously toilet paper wrapped in tissue paper and I had them de decoratively in my bathroom. I saw that done in one of my favorite stores, the Arati store in South Fallsburg. When I used their bathroom, I saw that they had done that and I loved it. So I'll change out the paper on those and then like four rolls of paper towels. So probably keeping, I uh, guarantee you, keeping all the paper products. And again, when I was the, you know, back in my crazy couponing days, I would have packages and packages, you know, hundreds of rolls of paper towels and just, it was crazy. So this is great. I'll be keeping all this stuff. Um, 
I really don't see anything I'm going to be getting rid of here except for that rug stuff. But I will go through each and every item and put my hands on it and we'll see if it sparks joy. I'll be cleaning out the cabinets and then I'll meet you back here when I show you what we went through. I have to say, you guys, this has been the easiest purge yet. Not surprising. Um, you're looking at everything that I've decided to keep. Doesn't necessarily spark joy, like I said, but for now it's necessary. We will continue to pare it down here. Um, and let's see. These are the, you know, these are all brand new sponges and stuff. I debated on getting rid of the squeegee, but I do use it in the bathroom shower, so keeping that. And there's my little bag of rags. I went through them and just kept the ones that I liked. Um, paper products are all the same. I unwrap the rolls and look, they're tie-dye now. Obviously, I won't be using these for what they're intended, but I will wrap these three up with fresh tissue paper and I'll show you that. This basket here on the end, I had been using in the bathroom underneath the sink. That's no longer needed. I'm going to release that to go bring someone else joy. And also, the only other thing I got rid of was, like I said, this rug cleaner and these two air fresheners. I'll see if Tom wants them. But yeah, just Nag Champa and essential oils all the way over here from now on. I will see you when everything is put away, okay? This has been a breeze. See you in a minute. I can't believe I almost forgot to show you my Rastafarian microfiber duster. I love this thing. It's easy to clean. I use it all the time. It sparks a lot of joy, and it's going to be staying. So just wanted to share. So here's what we're looking at under the kitchen sink now. I'm really pleased with everything, you guys. Look at my warped shelf. I tried to flip it around. It's just cheap press board, but that's the way it wants to go. It's working for now. And I did decide to keep that Rug Doctor upholstery shampoo in case I need to do spot touch-ups or anything. But if it's still hanging around in six months, it's going to go. So here we have it, and I'll show you what the bathroom looks like next. Okay, guys, we're back in the bathroom. I just want to show you what we're dealing with here. I cleaned out the cabinet. I took this out. There's my curlers, two curling irons, and the rest is empty. This is what we're working with. What? Oh, I forgot to show you. I'm going to keep my iron there also. This roll of paper towels, the world's largest bag of cotton balls, a box of tissues, some of the soft scrub, Windex, squeegee, and a sponge. And I'll wrap those rolls of toilet paper. See you in just a minute. Okay, guys, I am so happy with the way that everything turned out. You can see I've added new paper to the emergency rolls over there. I also put some spare rolls down here on this shelf that I also have a, a box of tissue on. That's above our towels. And that's where I hung the squeegee. So let me tell you guys, I'm so psyched to keep continuing. Our next step is back in the kitchen with uh, food. I think food is the next step. And then it's on to like dishes and pots and pans and stuff. So if I have inspired you or if you've been inspired in general and you're doing your own purge or you just want to follow along, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. I make videos very frequently. I always love to hear your comments. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. And I will talk to you very soon for the next step. Take care, guys.